Hi guys, this is Stephanie and I am Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Today I am bringing you guys my June TBR and I have yet another ambitious TBR in front of me. I think I had nine books that I wanted to read uh, last month. And I think I got six of those nine read, which isn't bad. A few of them I'm, I'm not going to quite carry over yet because I think I'm just not in the mood to read that book. So I'm probably just not going to read it if I'm not in the mood. But I do have ten books on this month's TBR. Ten. Again, I don't think I'm going to get them all read, but they are ten books that sound good to me right now. So I'm going to give it a shot for this month. First one I want to read is A Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conant Doyle. This is kind of the first of the Sherlock Holmes books. Now, I've read this before, but it's been a very, very long time, so I am going to be reading it again. And this one actually has uh, The Study in Scarlet and The Sign of Four in it, so I'll probably read both of them since it's such a short book anyway. Next, I have the next two books in the series of unfortunate events by Lemony Schnickets, and that would be The Carnivorous Carnival and The Slippery Slope. I uh, got the other two read in the month of May, so now I'm going to read these two. Again, this is a series that is about three kids that are orphaned who have a fortune that they will inherit. And there is somebody who is trying to steal that fortune from them. So they're kind of going from guardian to guardian in each book, experiencing new things. And last month I read the eighth and ninth book and I feel like things picked up. And so I'm a little more excited to read these two now. Next, I have The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. This is the first Tommy and Tuppence book, so I'm looking forward to reading it because that was one of her series I kind of wanted to read. I don't think there are very many books in the series, just five or six maybe. So I'm excited to read this one this month as well. I have no idea what it's about. I just know it's Agatha Christie and that there is like a crime fighting problem solving duo. Next we have Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Now this is a book I got a couple months ago. I've been wanting to read it and I finally think it's the right time for me to read this book. I'm very excited to read it. Basically it's a Cinderella story but it's modern day and uh, this is our girl and she lives of course with the stepmother and the stepsisters and her father like had made this comic-con event for like a star trek like fan following and there's a guy who's being cast to play a role in the part she doesn't really like him or think that he suits the part very well but somehow they get connected and they start texting each other and one of those mistaken identities. She doesn't know who it is, this, that, and the other. It sounds super cute and super interesting. It's gotten great reviews, so I'm super looking forward to reading it. And it's such a beautiful cover. <laughs> Next, I have another beautiful cover. I have Furthermore by Tahera Mafi. Now, I'm excited to be reading this one. I've been wanting to read it a while. Basically, it's a girl named Alice who is black and white, and she lives in a world full of color. Now something happens to her dad and she needs to go save him so there's been an adventure. This is more of a middle grade book but it came out last year. I don't remember when. Maybe it was last summer. But I put this on my summer reads. It was the only one on there that I hadn't read yet and I was like I'm going to read this this summer. So I'm going to try and read it this month. I have a pretty busy June so I'm hoping I have time to read all these books. We will see. Next I have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Now this book is part of the Black Lives Matter movement and it is about a girl who she kind of goes to a nicer school that mostly white kids are at and she has a friend who is also black and he gets shot by the police and she is there as the only witness and basically it sounds like a book that is super applicable in our society today and what's going on so it's definitely one that I want to read this month. Next on my list is Illuminae and this is by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This has been around a while. The sequel's out too. I haven't gotten around to reading it and I've owned it for about a year and it's one of those books that I keep thinking oh yeah I'm gonna read I'm gonna read and then I just don't. I had some people tell me the audiobook was great. I have some people say no you gotta read this because if you didn't know 
he must have been hiding under a rock, but it's kind of like this, like, like it's like case study notes and things like that. So, and then interviews and things. Um, so it's supposed to be a really quick read because of that. Like it looks like a super thick book, but I've been told it's a really, really quick read. So I'm still debating whether I'm going to try and listen to it or whether I'm going to try and read it, but it's going to happen <laughs> this month. I'm really excited about this one. I've just heard such great things about the first book and the second book. I think it's time that I finally, finally pick it up. Now my next book is one that was actually on my May reads and I started it and I put it down because I got busy and I don't know why I put it down because I was really, really enjoying it. And that was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I probably got about halfway through this and I really, really was liking it. And then I had a book come in from the library and I was like, oh, I'm going to hurry up and read my library book first because I own this one. So I just set it down and then another one came in, another one came in and a month later, I'm still only halfway through it. So I would really like to finish this one this month. I'm not 100% sure if I will. Again, my June is really busy. I basically have an entire week that I won't have time to read or anything. So I will not get to this entire TBR, but I'm really hoping I get to this book. And the last book on my list for the month of June is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I know, I haven't read this book. <laughs> have I been hiding under a rock? I think so. I have been really, really, really wanting to read this book. I've heard the audiobook is good. I've heard the book itself is good. I've heard all good things. So I am thinking that I want to read this this month. However, I have 10 books on my TBR and I do not know if I can get all 10 read. And this one is at the bottom of that list. I'm going to be honest. So if there's a book I don't get to, it's probably going to be this one, but I'm hoping I can get to all of them. Basically, this is a heist book and I love a good heist book. It's told from six different perspectives and I think they're all a little maybe unsavory or so. None of them are particularly good guys because they're stealing something, but I'm told that it's told in a great way. It's very funny and it's well written, of course. So automatically, this is one that I want to read hopefully this month. Those are all the books that I have on my June TBR. Please comment down below. Let me know if you've read one of these or if there's one on here that I absolutely need to read. I need to not push it off another month or something like that. Let me know down below. Maybe let me know what book you think I should start with first. Please like if you like this video and please click subscribe so that you can see when I put new videos up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I plan to see you with a new video soon. Goodbye.